beloved. My name is Krista Pettiford. Welcome back to my channel. I say that every time. If you're new here, I want to tell you who I am. The, the um, YouTube, the name of my channel is my name, but I want to welcome you and um, tell you thank you for watching. And if you like this channel, please subscribe. Today though, I'm veering off the path of what I normally share, which I do from time to time, and I'm dipping into my story. Not what I normally share uh, as far as the past, but I'm sharing with you um, my story, the hope that I have for my future story. And I'm sharing that out of the book of Ruth. About four years ago, I wrote a book based on the book of Ruth called A Call to God's Daughters to Step into His Lab love acceptance and beauty and so when i was studying for this book to write this book i was taken by some words that naomi said to ruth as she was leaving so in the book of ruth if you know the story um naomi's husband died and then some years later about 10 years later i believe her her sons died and one of those sons was ruth's husband and the other was her other daughter-in-law's Orpus. And when they died and Naomi decided to go back to Bethlehem of Judah, she told her daughters-in-law to go back to, she said, I can't have other sons and I won't get into all the customs of the day, but she told them to go back to their households, go back to their mother and father's homes where they could find a husband. And I'll read it to you. Here it says in verse eight, chapter one, verse eight, and it says, and Naomi said to her two daughters-in-laws, go return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant that you may find rest each in the house of her husband. And those words right there in verse 9. The Lord grant that you may find rest each in the house of her husband. And this has stuck with me because when I looked up the word rest, which I didn't really share in the um making of the book but when i looked up that word rest what it means is safety security peace a place to dwell in safety security and peace with a covering and so when a woman finds a husband there are some things that she's supposed to be and so this is for anyone who may have gone through something whether you're getting married for the first time or even if you're divorced because uh, or widowed uh, ruth was a widow and that word widow in the scripture means forsaken um discarded and so you don't have to just be um widowed as in your husband passed away for you to be considered a widow when you go deeper into the scriptures we read it in the english and that's all we get from it but when you look up the original um, language you understand the depth of what we, the writers were trying to say and convey and so this is what they were saying but she was under the widow because her husband had died and that had left her in a forsaken state in a place where she had by society at that time had been discarded unless someone married her so naomi offered her a way out of this lowly position and said go back i can't have children and even if i could it would take a while for them to be old enough to marry you so go back to your home where you can find a husband and that husband will give you rest the bible says in the new testament that the husband is supposed to love the wife and the wife is supposed to respect the husband and so when we are looking for a husband there's some things that we want to look for i know that that's what i'm praying for some way i can find rest covering protection at ease whereas when you when you've been single for a while just like ruth she was going to have to make it on 
on her own. She was going to have to continue to be the head of her house. And she and Naomi did. They went back to Bethlehem, as you know in the story, and they lived there for a while as two single women, mother and daughter-in-law. And that was a rough time. But when she met Boaz, she did find that rest. She didn't go back and get it in a place of the past. But when she moved forward, God sent her a godly man that she could have rest in in the house of her husband that she could have that peace that she can have that covering that she could have that um protection from the outside so she could finally rest and not have to labor so hard to protect herself she knew someone else was covering her so she could say la she could breathe she could pause and that's what you want and the bible says and i'll leave the verse but it's a verse in proverbs and it says um to be desired in a man is his kindness and when you're looking for a man when you're looking for a husband a mate um you want him to be kind and you want him to be kind not just to you but to other people and and, you know, as we grow in Christ, some, some people get it right the first time and some people don't. And that's not something bad about the people in the relationship. Maybe, I mean, the prayer is that you and the person that you were with who maybe didn't get it right because you guys were young or you weren't a fit or because you weren't in Christ or maybe you were in Christ and you went with your flesh and, and married the wrong one or you've gone through bad relationships and have never been married, that person, the prayer is that that person gets it right and has a blessed relationship with whoever God gives them in their future. And then that you get it right with the relationship that you move into. But that takes something, it takes paying attention. I'm looking at my hair, I did my own braid, y'all forgive me. <laughs> um, and it takes you going in to um you know seeking what god has for you so kindness and rest and i was um i took a walk yesterday um at the beach in my city um and uh of course it was closed up so i could only walk on the sidewalk but as i was sitting there i was dreaming with god about my future i was just um breathing in the air the fresh air and looking at the beautiful ocean and just dreaming with god and that song uh, a song came up and it was from waiting to excel now this is a song this is a show, uh, movie that came out in the probably the 90s and it's about a woman who gets divorced because her husband leaves her and all of that but it's one of those classic um movies and i haven't watched it in a while but it's like a chick flick and um but i was just drawn i wanted to watch it last night simply because even though there's you know worldly things in it i still wanted to watch it because it wasn't um that i was so much identifying with the way that they were handling the situation but the exhale if the movie is called waiting to exhale and what women want that brought me back to this word rest they want to excel when you rest you can finally take the load off you can finally exhale and if you're entering into a relationship or you're considering entering into a relationship um especially if you're in your 40s like me even if you're not even when you're young you're you're you know that could be a waste of time and then you're in marriage with somebody but definitely if you are considering let me see my light just if you are considering um, marrying someone or having a relationship with someone you should be thinking about what um, if it's a man who is who you can find rest with. And that doesn't only mean financially, like he has to take care of me, he has to do all of that. All of those things are wonderful and good. And what women don't want that, even if you have your own money, right? You want someone to say, you know, I got you. You can, you know, um, just be a wife and be good to me and live your life. You know, of course, that's every woman's, not maybe not every woman's dream, but of course you want a man who is, able to do that even if you don't want him even if you don't need him to right um and 
a man wants someone who is worthy to do that for if he's able to or when he's able to he wants a woman who is worthy of him saying I've got you so in that situation you want to make sure that it's someone that you can find rest not just financially but that he um, is a peaceful and kind man that he is a protector that he is a not only a provider but a protector that he can be your comfort that he can shield you from the world and his and his heart can also safely trust in you and that you guys are a good match and so I just wanted to share that today and as a side note I just want to say a word that the Lord gave me today to encourage the body of Christ is that as your days are so shall your strength be and I hold on to that verse because it's brought me through several situations it brought me through different seasons of life trusting in God's word that as my days are so shall my strength be and that was in Deuteronomy when the children of Israel were in the wilderness and he was telling them that your shoes weren't going to run out and your clothes would sustain you and everything would last until you get through this season and he was saying also your strength whatever the day brings I will give you the strength to match it and so God is saying that to us today if you're in the middle of this situation that the world is in going through it whatever hardships that you are facing or that you will face when this is over then I want to encourage you as I encourage myself in the Lord that as your days are so shall your strength be and your strength will come from the joy of the Lord and that strength will bring you through into the new and beautiful place he has for you God bless you that was just extra but listen I just want to encourage some women that you um would find rest in the house of your husband that you would find a man where you're not always arguing and fighting and that he has learned to possess his own vessel that he has that he's mature enough in the lord to match you so you know a lot of times women are left leading their household in the in the spiritual things of god and that's not a place of rest you want a man who is a priest of his home who can cover you who can pray for you and we all want that but we also want someone who is handsome and attractive and all the things right and and god will give you that you don't have to settle but you don't have to just look at the outward appearance of god is sending you someone who is who he is saying is for you but at the end of the day you have to marry this person but don't go for the outward appearance above what's in the spirit but also know that you can have both you can have both that God loves you that much and if you have been faithful to God and if you have kept yourself before the Lord then he has a blessing coming from you so write it down speak it out pray it and say it and I believe that you're going to get it a daughter of God I'm believing for myself I am going to be 47 May 31st should the Lord spare and I believe that my latter days are going to be greater than my former and that the joy of the Lord is going to fill my days I know we have some hard things coming up but I'm going to live for every day um, with joy with hope with expectation that God is going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I dare ask or think. I'm going to live every day. That is my promise to myself that going after my dreams and believing God for the things that he said I could have. I'm going to live every day not looking back but looking forward. Uh, life is short as we know. And even when we live out a long life, it's but a breath. And so I want to encourage you to find someone who you can excel if you're waiting to excel if you're waiting for that man where you can finally excel then wait until you find him don't settle god bless you beloved until next time